self-operating AIs are becoming smarter and better. Today, I bring forth a new self-operating AI that takes control of your computer to autonomously fulfill your tasks. Introducing HyperWrite Self-Operating Computer, a framework that is enabling multimodal models to operate a computer. Using the same inputs and outputs as a human operator, the model views the screen and decides on a series of mouse and keyboard actions to reach an objective. Currently, it's being integrated with GPT-4 Vision as its default model, but it's also extended support for Gemini Pro Vision. Now, what would be nice is if they actually included the new Lava model, but this is something that obviously is an addition, and I truly hope that they do add it. Now, it is completely open source, so it makes it easier for you to do a lot of things, and you can even extend it further. We got some great news coming out of the Patreon page as we have a couple more subscriptions being given out this month. Now, this month we had a total of four different subscriptions being given out to our Patreons and this just shows how unique and how amazing this community is. We've been focusing really, really hard on providing you guys with the best content as well as the best applications for free for just simply joining our Patreon page. You not only access subscriptions, but you access resources, collaboration, networking opportunities, and so much more. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below if you want to access our private Discord. Now, let's just take a look at this demo video, which is showcasing the capabilities of the self-operating computer by HyperWrite. We can see that you are giving the prompt to the self-operating computer, which is stating that open up Microsoft Word and write a poem for the Legal Week conference. And we later see in this video that it actually does this within a couple of seconds, creates the document and writes the poem, which is quite good. And this is something that you can actually do with this autonomous AI agent, you can say, or this self-operating computer that helps you create various different things as well as helps you facilitate the development of your tasks. Now, throughout today's video, we'll be exploring HyperWrite, which is your personal AI assistant that can help you out in many ways. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering HyperWrite, which is a revolutionary product which offers different types of things like personal AI tools, which is the self-operating computer, as well as a framework for deploying different types of AI assistants. Now, this is something that has been designed specifically for the self-operating computer, which is empowering different types of multimodal models to seamlessly navigate and control your computer. This is one of their products that we're gonna be covering throughout today's video. We're also gonna put emphasis on the assistants, which will let you gain some sort of uh, insight as to how you can deploy your own personal AI assistant. This is where you can deploy these assistants for different types of tasks. And this is something that we saw at the intro where you're able to have these different assistants control your computer and do various sorts of tasks like the self-operating computer. So what's the difference between the AI assistants and the AI tools that HyperWrite has in comparison to the self-operating computer? Well, this is a new framework that they just recently released, which is something that lets you interact with a computer using the same inputs and outputs as a human operator with a multimodal model, such as GPT-4 Vision, or you have the Gemini model. You're also able to integrate this with different frameworks. You're also able to have the compatibility with the system that is designed to be compatible across various sorts of operating systems. They have future plans where you're, they're developing an Agent One Vision, which is a multi-model model designed for operating software and computer interfaces. So. This is where you're also allowed to access different types of APIs where you're going to be able to access the Agent 1 vision model, allowing you to basically leverage its capabilities through different types of APIs. This is the specific focus that this project has, where you're going to be able to do various different things with the self-operating computer, just like how Open Interpreter does, where you can basically have it fulfill any sort of task based off of prompts, and you can even have it so that you can schedule prompts to be like fulfilled in the future. 
Now at this current moment, this is a project that is fully open source so you can get started with it right away. Now some of the key features with this is that it's compatible with various multimodal models. You can integrate this currently with GPT-4 Vision as the default model while being extended with Gemini Pro Vision. Now as we talked about, the future plan is them having their own Agent 1 Vision model being developed and that will basically give it more flexibility. But you can get started with this right away. You first need to copy this command over here, which is to install the project. It's fairly easy. You open up your command prompt and you can simply just go over here, paste this command in and click enter. This will start installing the requirements that are needed for this application to be runnable. So this will take a couple of seconds, but once this is done, I'll be right back. All right, it's finished installing and that actually took longer than expected. But once it has finished installing, you can then simply just copy this command over here. Go back onto your command prompt and click enter. Now it's going to start up the application and this might take a couple of minutes as well, depending on your computer. I have a really garbage computer, but it'll take a couple of seconds. Once it finished loads up, you'll see that you're going to get this prompt over here popping up where you're going to need to actually input your open AI key. Now, this is something that you can access by going onto the GitHub repo, clicking on this button here, and it'll take you to your OpenAI API key dashboard. This is where you will then need to link a billing, uh, an API that's linked to a billing account with OpenAI. Once that is set, then you can input it into this over here, which is the dashboard that showcases, please enter your OpenAI API key. And once that is done, you can then give it access to your terminal. So I have just generated my new key. I can then go back onto my command prompt, which will now showcase this new dashboard. I can then paste it into this, which is not letting me paste it. Let me give me one second. Well, it looks like the copy and paste function doesn't work with this. So I have to manually type it in. But in this case, I typed it in. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. We have the self-operating computer right over here. Now, if you go back to the repo, they stated that give terminal app the required permission. So if you're on iOS, you're going to need to go to the security and privacy section. And you want to change the accessibility option for the system preferences so that you can have this application runnable. So in this case, an experiment framework is enabled the multimodal models to operate computers. So then you click OK. In this case, it's asking you, I can help you with anything. What would you like to be done or what would you like done? So in this case, I'm going to ask it, can you please open up a new Google Chrome uh, tab and search up World of AI YouTube channel? Go to the channel and subscribe i'm gonna click enter and it's gonna now go and do it so i guess i've inputted my key wrong so i'm gonna be back input it put, input the right key and let's try this again so i believe i'm having a lot of issues because i failed to realize that i do not have the gpt for access at this current moment which is why it opened it up and it didn't actually execute that command, but you can see in the log that it actually was operating. It opened Windows, it searched for Google Chrome, it opened it up, and it actually went to the site. And you can see that it actually functioned. It's just that since I don't have the GPT-4 Vision API, I'm not able to have it runnable on my desktop at this current moment. But I'll show you case another example, which is basically showing that you're able to do various other things with this. Now, I apologize for not having a function on my computer, but here is an example which showcases the usability of HyperWrite's self-operating computer. Welcome to the demonstration of the self-operating computer framework by HyperWrite AI, an open source tool enabling multimodal models to interact with a computer as a human would. This framework utilizes the GPT-4 Vision API to interpret screen content and execute tasks. Today, we'll see it in action as it writes a short essay on AI. The process begins with a command to open Google Chrome. The framework understands and executes the command, launching the browser. Next, it navigates to Google Docs, creating a new document. Once in the document, the AI begins typing an essay about AI, showcasing its understanding of the topic and its ability to perform complex tasks. It writes about AI's capabilities, applications, and the ethical considerations surrounding its integration into society. As the AI types, we witness the seamless interaction between the model and the computer. 
simulating human behavior in real time. This technology represents a significant step forward in AI's ability to assist with everyday tasks. The essay is complete and the document is saved all through the autonomous actions of the self-operating computer framework. This demo highlights the potential of AI to streamline workflows and contribute to various fields. Thank you for watching this demonstration of HyperWrite AI's innovative framework showcasing the future of human-computer interaction. Now, that was absolutely amazing, as you can do so much with the self-operating computer AI by HyperWrite. They also have assistance, which is something that is a little bit more intricate. And this is where AI agents are designed to handle various different tasks that you give it, similar to what we saw with one of our recent videos, which is Multion. And it's just like a web-based AI agent that helps you facilitate the development of different types of tasks that you want it to complete. And we can just see that we're getting to a point where we're seeing more and more of these different projects releasing their own AI agents that can basically operate on their own and autonomously complete sorts different ranges of tasks but that's basically it for today's video on hyperwrites products i truly recommend you check this out they have a cloud version where you can just basically use their agents on their own hosted server and this is something that is applicable for people who do not have the right computational power to run this locally but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i'll leave all the links as to what i use in today's video in the description below if you would like to access this definitely take a look at it in the link in the description below with my referral link make sure you check out the patreon page if you guys haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news join our private discord where you can access various different sorts of subscriptions for free now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you follow World of AI on Twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there is a lot of content that will definitely benefit you. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spare positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.